The broth dilution method is one of the most commonly used techniques in microbiology to determine the MIC, the minimum inhibitory concentration. How the assay works and what the definition of the MIC is will be explained in a second. Before, make sure to hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell. Antibiotics are extremely important drugs against bacterial infections. There are many mechanisms of action but what all those compounds do is to eliminate bacteria. More and more bacteria get resistant to antibiotics. This requires the constant development of novel drugs. When a compound is designed, it needs to be tested whether the bacteria are sensitive to this drug and which concentrations show a significant effect to stop bacterial growth. This concentration is referred to as the MIC the minimum inhibitory concentration. Different concentrations of the compound are tested on the exact same number of bacteria. The growth is monitored over time. In this example, low concentrations of the antibiotic did not show any effect since the bacteria displayed growth. High and medium concentrations were able to inhibit growth. In this case, the minimum concentration that can inhibit bacterial growth, in other terms, the MIC, equals the medium concentration. Therefore, the MIC is considered the lowest concentration of a drug that prevents bacterial growth. The most commonly used method to determine the MIC is the broth microdilution assay. In a first step, the bacterial culture is prepared. The culture contains a special medium and bacteria. With the help of the spectrophotometer that measures the turbidity, the optical density is adjusted to 0.5. This equals a defined number of bacterial cells per ml. In the second step, different dilutions of the drug are made, typically by preparing a serial dilution of a stock solution as shown here. The different compound concentrations are now transferred into a 96 well plate. For the inoculation, we make sure to add the same number of bacteria to each well. Apart from samples, two controls are used for this assay. The growth control, that contains no drug but just bacteria, is expected to show how bacteria grow without the compound. The second one does not contain bacteria. The sterile control, which is only medium, is expected to not show any bacterial growth after incubation. The incubation is done over approximately 18 hours at 37 degrees. A plate reader can determine the turbidity at different time points. Before the results can be analyzed, a brief introduction of the typical bacterial growth curve is necessary. Since the bacteria will grow over time, the turbidity increases as well. Under normal conditions, the curve can be separated into different phases, starting with the lag phase, continuing with the exponential growth, also known as the log phase. After that, depletion of essential nutrients is one factor to limit bacterial growth in the stationary phase, which later even results in dying cells. Taking a look at the results, the growth control shows a typical growth curve like expected. The sterile control does not display any increase in turbidity. Since no bacteria should have contaminated the medium, this was also expected. Low concentrations of the compound, 2 and 1 microgram per ml, were not sufficient to prevent bacterial growth. Higher concentrations, reaching from 32 to 4 microgram per ml, however were enough to inhibit growth. In this case, the lowest concentration that is capable to stop bacterial growth would be at 4 microgram per ml. This is the MIC. How do antibiotics work and why is antibiotic resistance such a challenge for us? Click here to discover more about antibiotics. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated and see you in the next video.